Did you did you see the global global sandwich uh, flags? Yes, I saw it. Yeah, I tried to add it to the story, but it didn't work. I was too late, I think. Got it. Yeah, I liked it. Thanks. For sure. I'll send you one. All right, a flag. Oh, I hope it doesn't cost too much to send to Germany. Don't worry about it. I have too much stuff, but yeah, if you send it, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I won't throw it away. <laughs> uh, that sounds like that's you, you, that, see now I don't feel like sending it. <laughs> yeah, I got too. I have too much stuff. I'm, I'm thinking about how, how I can get all this, but I'm, uh, I'm a tool person, you know, like I'm a Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens, whatever. I don't know, um, Aus Australop Australopithecus or something, you know. So all the tools that I have, I need them at some point. I, I'm using them, and but I have too many things, you know. It gets more and more. And, you know, for example, I have this massage thing, you know, actually really recommendable to buy it. Um, physiotherapist uh, also recommend, recommended. It's uh, this electric thing that you can buy for 20 bucks that turns and has these wheel, turning wheels. And even they can be warm and with red and infrared and so on. And then turn here. So instead of asking someone for a massage, you can do that. You know, something you need maybe once every three months or something, but it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Or something like this to scratch your back in, in, the, in the shower, in the bathroom, you know? Do you really need it? I mean, when, when, when your back does scratch, it's amazing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, so... Uh... Itch, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a minimalist. Yeah. So what you're talking about, about needing stuff is, is it's a pretty interesting thing. It's a pretty interesting thing because your definition of need there and my definition of need are two totally different things. I'm not sure about this. I'm a minimalist too, you know, but, um, uh, I, I, I don't buy any of my stuff. It's all given. So I'm a, I'm a collector, but I, I, because I traveled so often and then when I switched countries, I got rid of everything, give everything away as a gift usually. And then I'm at, back at zero again, but now- Okay, so, so you're, you're, you're a, a minimalist saying you have too much stuff, not a hoarder saying that you're a middle, minimalist. At the moment, I might have become a hoarder, but the reason is... Because... But that's a minimalist saying that they're a hoarder. Because there's, like, hoarders are, like, really bad. I'm a hoarder minimalist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I explain, I, let me explain it. You know, usually after three years maximum, I, I changed countries. Now I've been here five years. And, um, yeah, and I'm thinking about, okay, you know, recently I just got, like, an amazing two speakers you know of Yamaha so that sound is just amazing and that's something you know that's worth it you know but um yeah so I so so, so on uh, the, the reason why I'm a minimalist because like on your spiritual path it's important because anything that you need as this truck comes by um anything that you need uh when you have the right desire and you have consistent desire will show up a quote that, that I go off of that's that uh, my friend that taught me to meditate Jerome gross said, he said, anytime you need something, the beta, the, the, anytime you need something, the Buddha says it will be, it's near and it's free. Yeah. So, so the fact of the fact that you manifested all that stuff without paying for it is, is, is something that's a, a, a line of that. And if we just take that tool and use it for a second and then give it to somebody else, then that's the more spiritual, that's the more spiritual life. But some of that stuff you, you, you may need, but even the attachment that you say that, that I have this neck massager and you can use it once every three months. It's like, <laughs> it's like, why, like, how, how about using it every time you need it? Yeah. I'm using it every time I need it. Yeah. But, um... but, but, but the but the the premise of every three months and the plan that takes up a lot of space. That's exactly what I'm saying. I only need it every yeah. three months. At the moment. Okay, so you're throwing something out. So throwing out that. But I would say that's a pattern for you for for like figuring out 
okay, I have this little rock right here. I'm going to pick it up every every month once <laughs> on a Tuesday. I'm thinking about how long, how often am I thinking, using these things? Because I thought, you know, maybe I need to think about if I use something every six months, I might keep it. But if it's more than six months, I need to give it away. And uh, <laughs> actually, I think I have a calling. I think I have a calling to create a storage place for people to just bring their stuff because everybody has too much stuff in our Western world. So not, so nobody has to buy everything like, you know, of course, the industry industry wants us all to buy everything. Every single person buys the same thing again. But uh, for the environment and for the people and for the uh, for the um, economy of the whole, it doesn't make any sense. We should have a place where we can bring our stuff and it's organized for us, like an Amazon warehouse where all our stuff that we don't need Every, more than every six months we can just bring it there and get it there you know and uh and it i think i think i think that amazon is that thing for me yes and no no because the problem with amazon is it's producing even it's totally out of hand you know like they're even producing they're even throwing away stuff that's new and I, i'm sure you've heard about it it should be a place where it's used stuff that's functioning And, and broken stuff should be repaired. So that's not Amazon, you know, that's, that's the calling, you know? So I, I, I think the, the, the challenge, and I'm talking from a spiritual perspective. Um, I see that as a good idea, but I can't really conceive how good of an idea that that is. Well, in this, but there's, 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 there's a lot spiritually, you're a hoarder for just like all those thoughts. Because in spirituality, Uh, a lot of us, and I'm not speaking for specific groups. That's why I say a lot of spiritual people th believe that th thoughts are like actual things. Yeah, I must be a hoarder some way. I'm an information collector too. I have 1,103 unread mails and I have 2,154 to-dos to do. <laughs> so I'll give, I'll give you an example. I'll, I'll give you an example is I was thinking about a hook like this. Yep. Short time ago, because I, I wanted to figure out a way to, to hang my Mickey Mouse doll somewhere in my my thing that's out of the way for from my blind spots. But it's a good way that people can look at it and, and have it. And it's but it's like attached to the, the wall in some way that I can take off. And I wanted a I wanted a hook like this. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden I looked in the back and I found a I found something that had this hook on it. Yeah. That somebody had left him. That somebody had left in my lift. Yeah. I think that's more how spiritual uh, spirituality works. Yeah, exactly. That's I have the same experiences all the time, and sometimes it doesn't always manifest. But when it doesn't manifest, I al sometimes also think it's not supposed to, and then I keep stuff. So that's why I keep stuff because people think, "Why are you keeping this?" And one month later, just that thing. I'm like, I'm so glad I kept this thing. I can use this for that now. You know, yeah. It's just gotten so, out of so, space. So, so where, so where your idea, and I believe the universe like works like this. And before we became so domesticated, um, we were in tune because of dangers, and we didn't have the weather patterns and just a lot of different things. We're in tune with, with, oh shit, the birds flew over at this angle. All of a sudden, we got to move from here. Mm -hmm. But yeah. now that most of us have more, not, not most of us have mortgages, but most of us live in structures with all our stuff. Moving is a big thing. It's not something that we can do. I, I could do it at the drop of the hat, but it's not something that people could do at the drop of the hat. Right. And even like moving still uncomfortable for me, but from a spiritual zone of how I move in the, in the day. And I have some things that are, that are, that are, focused and consistent for instance i go to a, a coffee shop every morning and then i was thinking i had to stop going to this coffee shop because it's a pattern but the rest of my day and i'm meditating when i'm at the coffee shop and it's a good place to to, to meditate and also my my uh, youtube ads are i use that place as one of the key words so that <laughs> so that place because a lot of people see me there meditating And don't talk to me, but all of a sudden they may be searching living room or they may be typing living room, meet me at the living room. And then that's bringing my ads, <laughs> my ads up to 
to them, which is just to promote the more of the good stuff I'm doing in the world. I'm not, I'm not selling anything, especially to the. Is the living room that ca ca coffee place on um, close to the San Diego State somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep. Ah, uh, yeah, I know College Avenue, right? Close to College Avenue somewhere. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, uh, so the thing, the thing I'm saying is, is spirituality is lining with like so some people think like me using ads and keywords to to promote what I'm doing isn't spiritual. But for for me, it's less work and it's it's aligning all the different stuff that I'm doing. I'm also aligning people that are 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 doing Lyft and Uber uh, 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 around to around the campuses and also some people that I students that I know that are in certain uh, fraternities and sororities. Those are keywords in my ad. And the reason why is so I do more with less effort. Mm -hmm. Because even the stuff that you're thinking about, okay, I use this every six months, I use this. And if you just are going through that thought once or twice, but if your brain's in a pattern that it's continually doing that, then that thought is taking too much time and time is money um, or time is energy that yeah. could be more focused of you being in the moment and you being glor glorious and spending time with, with people totally present in, in, in the beauty of life. That's so true. Yeah. So, so I think about what am I, what are you, because <laughs> one of the things, and I don't know if you've identified it when you're talking about that business plan, Even though I think it's just an idea, I don't know if you're actually thinking of following through on it. But we'll 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 just talk about the, the, the. It's not necessarily a business, but it could be a business. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what I'm saying is, is where that would be totally awesome is so you would. I mean, the the let's say the the business or or whatever the app or whatever would take care of that. It's not just a storage because there's already storage, but whatever you're talking away a, a that being able to find a way that that people don't have to think about stuff and they're not wasting time from stuff and where it's important is where it's helping them walk towards. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you, as we have this hook in meditation, they tell you it's all about, and, and Buddhism is all about um, avoiding clinging to the past or projecting to the future. And mm -hmm. if they can, you can stay in the moment because I don't have my stuff around me. I'm not totally uh, cluttered. I'm not distracted, but I know that I can draw and have that ma whatever I need. I was like, all of a sudden I need that, that back massager or that neck massager. When I need it, it's readily, there and readily available. And that's how the universe works. And a lot of this domestication is actually creating the opposite of that. Because if worrying about the, the back massager is causing more stress, <laughs> it's actually making your back back, but it's good. You have the massager because you're going to need it more because it's causing more stress or just like having it. Like there's a lot of shit. I forget where it is and I forget I have it. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking about it. And then all of a sudden it shows up yeah. when I, when I need it. And I was like, Oh shit, I didn't even know I, I had this. Yeah. Yeah. I think many, many people, and then they throw all that stuff away. And if they just knew the value of it, because Not, not the value of buying it, the value of creating it, the value of the environment being destroyed, the value of the work that was put in. Everything, like you said once, is worth actually millions of dollars just in, as an invention, you know. And, um, and I have a question for you. So um, do you think um, that... No, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, do I feel? So, yeah, do, do you feel... Um, do you oh yeah okay do you feel yes um that uh, uh ask and you shall shall be given is is the idea of asking uh you know the universe god or something is asking people for something or both i really believe it's asking the universe and people are part of the universe <clears throat> okay yeah so the, the the universe isn't part of people but people are part of the universe i'm not sure about if the universe is not part of people <laughs> yes people are part of the universe i said people are part of the universe uh, i may have said it wrong but I, what i meant was I mean, people I, mean, i get the aspect of humility in it you know 
So, um, and, and, and your hair just did this. It just humbly fell, you know, <laughs> when I said this. Um, so I understand that, you know, we shouldn't make ourselves make like, uh, you know, this, the center of uh, the universe in terms of ego, you know,